So if you're using multi-monitor setup and then some of those monitors, they have not so good stands included in the box, you can opt in for a monitor mount. No, not monitor arm, arm mount like this one so that you can reclaim some of your space and also get full adjustment for your monitors. Plural and that is because this one is by Loctec. It is a dual desktop monitor mount for your monitors of course and it supports from 17 inches all the way up to 32 inches and the one that we are featuring today is with the model number of DLB85 1D2 and uh, there are a few things that you need to keep note before you even purchase this thing. Number one, make sure your table is not hollow inside. If you're using IKEA Limon, I know a lot of you guys are using that desk for your gaming setup but please be careful because those desks, if it ever gets wet, then water seeps inside, it will bowl and then over time it will also bowl and uh, if you want to clamp in a monitor arm like this, you will puncture the table. So you have to opt in for either a table like what we have here. This is a, if not mistaken, this is a laminated wood table. It's solid enough or you can opt in for MDF. So with that requirement out of the way, let's unbox and then mount this monitor arm into two of our spare monitors in the office. Let's take a look at the box first, so we can see here it supports 100 by 100 VESA mount and then it supports all the way from 2 kilograms all the way up to 9 kilograms. We'll go through that later. Uh, it also has tilt adjustment of course and then looking at the back here, it says that you have angle adjustment, cable management, optional basement, we'll talk about that later and double screen because this is a 2 monitor arm and then uh, additional tools required they say you need a drill bit a drill uh, more like an electronic drill don't know what's this a pencil and then a measurement guy i don't think all these are necessary i'm just gonna take my screwdriver and see if it's enough granted some of these monitor arms they also come with additional as in their own screwdrivers so let's see if i ever need this Unboxing is fairly simple. We're gonna open it from the top. So I'm gonna start from the right to the left. Firstly, we have rubber flaps. We'll go through that later. And then this is the base clamp itself. And then these are, I suppose, for the grommet mounting. If your table has cut out for cables, I don't know if this table has it. Ah, there it is, this one. So if your table has this kind of, uh, yeah, you can take it out like this and then you can actually fit your entire base of the monitor arm clamp down towards this rubber grommet. Not rubber grommet, more like just a grommet. You can do that if you want to, but if you don't want to, then you can just clamp it at the edge of your table. That works as well. Uh, this one, I don't think I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna leave it inside and then, this is where the plate is supposed to be on your monitor. Uh, cable management, you're gonna need that. Screws, lots of them. Oh, they're nicely labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and they also have their own screwdriver. So this is good. So that means I don't have to use this. Now it is time for the big boy. Oh. With that out, I'm gonna yeet the box. It's taking up a lot of space. So as we can see, the whole thing is in one piece. This entire plate will have to go on this thing. And uh, I'm gonna need the user manual. Where's the user manual? It is very important for you to read the user manual. And also we'll start off. They say we have to prepare the monitor first. I'm not gonna do that first. I'm gonna do step two. It is by getting the clamp ready. So the first step we're gonna do is to loosen this up. We're gonna need screw number E, which is the Allen key. 
so I'm gonna need these screws as well which is screw C and since I don't want to slowly twist this what I'm gonna do is just to remove the two allen keys at the back it's faster and easier that way I just prefer it like this so first screw second screw and then we got it separated what I'm gonna do now is to use screw C from the package just now to screw to the base here so as you can see at the bottom of this monitor arm they got three screws here it forms a triangle so I'm gonna take this base plate mount it like this and you can see the triangle aligned properly I'm just gonna screw it now this is gonna be so boring to watch so I got that mounted and what we're gonna do now is to take back all of our rubber flaps this is where oh you got two more cable management things here so the rubber flaps is to protect your table if you ever clamp out into your table uh, what the heck okay so you got four squares four pegs just It's very difficult to get inside. And then these two rubber rings is for this part. So your table is always protected. Sandwiched by rubber instead of pure metal because this will definitely dig into the wood. And since I removed this earlier, now is the time I should screw it back. But I will also leave it to be a little bit loose because later when we clamp it on the table we need to adjust the width first according to how thick our table is before we screw it in after that for the sake of demonstration I'm gonna mount this I'm gonna use it in the maximum width I got a measurement of the thickness of the table I'm gonna screw this in tightly because according to our thickness of the table so uh, make sure this is real tight again I'm only using all of the tools included inside the box so that if you ever buy this monitor arm this is what you're gonna experience <laughs> maybe this is the part you get someone to help because you need someone to balance this while you screw in the base so what we do now is to get our monitors so we are using two monitors one is a 32 inch and then another one is a 27 inch so according to the user manual what they recommend us to do is to take compartment number D which is some rubber washer some spacer so you won't scratch your monitor when you screw it in take one of the mounts and then since this 32 inch monitor is using a VESA 100 by 100 you should align that this is the top as you can see the open archway here so yeah it fits so what I'm gonna do is to take out F which is our Phillips screwdriver some monitors might have pre-installed screws like this monitor does have pre-installed screws for us to VESA mount it if you want to some monitor do not come with these pre-installed screws so you can use these screws included by Loctec so you don't have to worry about that so we open up packet B and try out the spacer but turns out because the included screws are just right in terms of length for a VESA mount we will not need the spacer if we ever gonna use the spacer then the law the included screws will be too short so we're gonna not use any spacer and then you should also keep note that this mount also supports 75 by 75 millimeters VESA mount as well and I'm just gonna put some screws there to align so we got one monitor prepared we can technically mount it right now do you want to mount it now okay we mount to the this this left side one okay so I'm gonna advise you to get someone to help don't do what I do so what I'm gonna do is to align slide in 
and there we go so as you can see the monitor now drops instantly that is where the tensioning comes into play so we're gonna take the included allen wrench press it in screw it to heavier because this monitor is obviously heavier how to know if your tensioning is correct is when the monitor when you lift it up it doesn't fall instantly might take a while but please do take your time to adjust the tensioning correctly else you might potentially damage your screens so you see it's getting better now but definitely nowhere near enough tension ah. oh, no. okay, soon soon okay so okay that is where the tensioning is correct it doesn't fly all the way up when you push it up it doesn't go down automatically when you give it a slight push so this is where tensioning is important that means it's correct now so the next adjustment is actually for the tilt angle of the monitor itself sorry the microphone died earlier but then again this is actually very simple you just have to tilt your monitor and if the monitor doesn't automatically just flop around then your tensioning for the tilt angle should be okay so just make sure that it is easy to tilt without exerting any excessive amount of force and then you should be fine just tune the tilt angle accordingly and then it's done okay second monitor done i'm gonna take this out do remember that the, the monitor here has two spacer thing never remove it because those are i don't know what's it guide spacer whatever yeah it's a spacer a plastic spacer so that it fills up the, the gap between the two metals yes and you can see oh Okay, another one that we need to adjust the tension. Same idea. Adjust so until. Is this the way to make sure you know? Technically, no. <laughs> Technically, no. Get someone to help you. What? That is the advice. What? Never install monitor arm single person. Because the one that I did for the Dell monitor, the 40 inch Dell monitor, uh, it was kind of dangerous to do it alone, but. I still did it alone so my advice is to get someone to help you up and you can see oh the tensioning is a lot lighter for this one okay so for this monitor since it's a lot lighter you can see it's very difficult to tilt even just a little bit so this is where we have to loosen this axis instead is this loose or what oh too much okay so easier to tilt but not as tight as the original when we first installed it so done two monitors after we got everything set up now i want to talk about the cable management instead so if you look at this part here usually cable mount cable monitor arms like this will come with cable routes along the arm itself so let me just unlatch this this one is a bit more unique because it works like this so i'm gonna plug in hdmi cable remember you can use whatever cable you want as you can see we can't get it in but no worries we can actually remove it like this ah okay so we got this tiny piece of plastic we got two of them actually and this one goes here this very tiny latch that holds it in place and then we should do the same for the second monitor which we will skip forward yay okay done we got one last piece of the puzzle which is this one you need to come here so you see this piece here we got three holes oh this two and then last one i don't know or oh, is at the bottom so you can see one two one two this one latches to the bottom here so we just have to There we go, snaps in. This actually acts as a cable route as well. So, left monitor, right monitor. Done. Clean, right? That's it. That's how we install the Loctec dual monitor arm. I forgot what's the exact name of this monitor arms model i'm gonna leave it on the screen here alongside with all the price information and where to buy them if you want to buy it links down in the description below and 
Remember to adjust the tension of the tilt and also the this this up and down height adjustment weight same thing so once you got that down it works really well that 32 inch monitor yeah it take up a lot of space but it works works really well so you can see once the tension is adjusted correctly one finger up one finger down tilt is not too hard and not too easy so you can still tilt but it feels comfortable to tilt not like you're gonna snap the monitor in half if you want to tilt it by just a half a degree or something like that so yeah remember always get someone to help you when mounting monitor arms especially 32 inch and upwards they are quite gaudy to handle especially when you try to put it in the mount mechanism at the back of the monitor arm also do remember laminate table or MDF table do not use it with hollow core tables you will snap it in half 